Sometimes I might find a picture that I like, but it has some background information on it I don't want. So let's say I just wanted this dachshund's face. I need to crop that picture. So notice when I click on the picture, I get, again, another toolbar with some options I can use for photos. So this is the crop symbol. So I'm going to hit that crop button and notice these little arrows that come in. So I can click and drag these little bars. Now this time it's not going to resize the whole photo. It's going to cut out anything that's outside of this box. So now when I click, it just crops and sort of cuts my picture into this, the shape or size that I want. I can get rid of some of that background information. Remember, if you do something you don't like, always just hit that undo button. It's just your best friend. So if I undo, undo, then it goes back to the way it was. So cropping is a good way of making that picture work exactly like you want. Another thing that I recommend is if you can find these pictures with the white backgrounds, the blank backgrounds, uh, that can look really good because it just sort of blends in. It doesn't really have a frame to it. So you don't really have to crop these back backgrounds out, whereas these you might, you might want to do that. But now you know how.